State legislators are among those who are helping the Bergman FFA rebuild their cattle herd. When the call to give what they can to help the Bergman FFA went out to state legislators last month, the response was almost immediate. Representative Bruce Malloch has a long history with the Arkansas FFA and is chairman of the state's FFA Foundation. When he read about the Bergman chapter losing about half of its herd in a lightning strike, he called upon his colleagues to help. I knew with that school farm they were really living out the FFA motto of learning to do and doing to learn. And I just thought, well, you know, there's got to be some way that we can help. Uh, legislators, we try to live out the last line of that FFA motto of living to serve. And we do that not just through the legislature, but also giving back, whether it's a pie or cake auction at a local fire department or something like this. Senator Percy Malone and his wife Donna own Supreme Angus Ranch at Arkadelphia, where they focus on animals with strong genetics and marketability. When he learned of the school's dilemma, they decided to offer one of their bulls to the FFA program. I thought it was an opportunity for the young people to see the benefit of the genetics that's available uh, in America today, and especially here in Arkansas, for us to donate a quality bull and for these young people to understand that in today's market, it's, it's more important than just having a cow and a bull and having a calf, but to do what you're doing there and uh, teach them the value of quality animals and what that means from the bottom line. Lacey Quine lost a heifer that she'd been raising and breeding and is humbled by the legislators' benevolence. I'm just, I'm speechless. It's absolutely the best thing that I think a state legislator could ever do to help the youth of Arkansas. I'm just absolutely gracious because, I mean, I'm graduating this year, but my little brother is moving up and will be part of this agri program and we'll get to benefit from what these state legislators are doing. State representatives Monty Davenport and John Burris, who serve Boone County, and other groups in the area have also offered assistance. Because of their generosity, the students will be able to continue their hands-on learning experiences.